All right, back here at home and only on 10 News. This is not one of those cute animal photo bombs. It's actually the beginning of a nightmare for that local man pulled off his boat and then underwater by a sea lion. He told his frightening story only to 10 News reporter Emily Valdez. She's now live at Mission Bay and Emily, he said he thought he was actually going to die. Yeah, he did. I'm live here in Mission Bay. Now it happened back in the channel you see behind me, but I'm going to have Sherry, zoom in on something else. Out there, the lighted area, that's a bait barge where they sell bait. And you'll see a, it looks like a pile of shiny, dark squigglies that are moving. That's a bunch of sea lions, about 15 of them right now. Normally, sea, uh, uh, lifeguards say that sea lions don't attack humans, but this man has a firsthand account that says something different. It was terrifying. When, when the sea lion took me down and I was going down at that rate of speed, at that point, I knew that I was going to die. This photo captures the moment the terror began for Dan and Trish Carlin. They told their story only to 10 News. We intentionally don't feed the seals. We don't feed the birds. We take the carcasses and all the remains and put them in a bucket. It happened on board their boat in the Mission Bay Channel in early April. I'm standing like this and Trish says, okay, smile. So I snapped uh, Dan's picture. And at the minute that she said smile, sea lion came up and grabbed my hand and the fish at the same time, ripped my arm straight down right here crushing my chest with unbelievable force. Flipped my legs up in the air and I went straight down. And I look up and he is gone. I've never gone through the water as fast as I was moving. It, just by my hand, he's holding me now. Dan thinks he was underwater and struggling with the sea lion for about 20 seconds. Finally, he breaks free. Just before I get to the surface, I feel him bite my foot. The Carlins want to warn people, stay clear of the sea lions. They're very aggressive and I just, I want, I want, you know, parents to know that you should not let your children get within 10 feet of them. I feel very lucky to be to be alive. And you can see there's some pelicans moving on the bait barg. It's called, I'm told. Uh, the Carlins also tell me that they don't think the sea lion initially went in for the attack. Obviously, he was going for the fish, but things changed when they were underwater. I'm live here in Mission Bay. Emily Valdez, 10 News. What a story he has to tell. I'm glad he's okay tonight. Thanks, Emily.